Hi friends, today is Athene's day to shine. Right now she's stuffing her face with the rest of the herd, but there are a lot of things that are happening. So if you want to join me through shorts, then I'll show you what's going to happen throughout the day. But right now she's enjoying a really good breakfast with all of her friends. You can see her, she's way back there. Oh, now she's going to move. She doesn't seem, oh goodness, everyone's bullying her still. She doesn't seem to have any contraction. She doesn't seem to even notice that anything is different. The only thing is that she lost her ligament. So, and if you're wondering why they're locked in here, it's kind of the process. I milk and I put them here so the moms can feed the baby. So little by little start bringing the kids with the mom that is done after milking. And right now they're just stuck in here because I'm cleaning the barn. And what I've been doing is locking everyone out of the barn because I started doing the micro shavings. I just cleaned this. And every day I'm getting that much stuff out of the barn. But as you can see, this doll has been ready for about a week for her. So I just put water there and I put this little string so I can attach my LED light. I also decided this time to not only use my regular camera, but the GoPro to have a different angle. So I set this up here. It's not great. This is like, I think it's for a bike or something, but we'll see if we get different angles for those of you that suggested that previously. And this is the kid's stall that I already cleaned and it's all ready. Now this, would have been closed off, as I mentioned before, but I'm gonna leave it open and put some hay in here so they can come hang out there and I can keep an eye on Athene from my kitchen window over there. And I don't have to guess what she's doing in the back. Usually they spend most of the morning in the back eating and doing their own thing. But I need to switch the camera over there because if I see through my window that she's acting funny, then I can come and put her here in the stall. Let me just turn it here. Um, put her in the stall and just kind of keep a closer eye on her. And I'm also going to leave the volume up because I know that as soon as she's done eating, she'll come into the barn. This is going to be closed off though, because you know, trying to have that clean and ready for her and for her babies that hopefully will be born today. I'm sweating my butt off. This weekend, we're going to go through a heat wave, which I think we're going to be, I think the max tomorrow or the highs are going to be in the 90, upper 90s, I think 97. So it's probably nothing compared to some of you who are in the hundreds. The boys are reminding me I need to go take breakfast. But anyways, I wanted to kind of bring you along and also tell you that I was having this dream that she was gonna have the babies today. Now, I don't know if she'll have the babies today, but in my dream, she was delivering the babies at three in the morning, which I hope that's not the case. Because usually my girls will have their babies the latest, I think, was Clara at 8.30 last year. Uh, but usually they're done by 4.35, which is really nice. But it could change completely because every day is different. But I thought it, it was funny that I was dreaming that she was going to go into labor today and have her babies tonight or tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. Hopefully not. And by keeping the barn open, I'm gonna keep a close eye on her and kind of separate only when I feel like she's ready to be separated. She's very, um, I don't know. She takes being away from the herd not well, like other does will, but maybe since she's in labor, she'll take it differently, but I don't know. And I was hoping to, my dogs are reminding me it's breakfast time. It's probably lunch time by now. I've been doing a bunch of things here since she is <laughs> it's a story of my life. I get out, I get out, get it together. Nobody's home today. Everyone is at work 
and then my youngest son who's usually here on Saturdays he is on a track meet so this is it um, it's me myself and I so we'll see what happens um, I need to get things straightened out and ready and I'm gonna charge my cameras and I'm gonna get all that other part of getting ready ready and out of the way but for now I'm gonna finish cleaning whatever I have left outside the barn and I'm gonna let the girls out so again I can keep an eye on Athene she seems unbothered at this point she it's, it's like she almost doesn't even care so I'm going to stay in today. I'm not going to go to town or do anything. I had a couple of things that I needed to do, but that's 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 going to be the plan for today. Just keep an eye on Athene. Uh, she, again, as you can see her, she looks unbothered by now. So I'll keep you updated. I'll do short videos to share with you along the way how things are progressive, progressing, and if we need <laughs> my naked boy. <laughs> so comfortable though now um but how things are progressing and if i think it's going to be today well you'll all learn about that soon oh look at that <gasps> they made a hole you marshmallow you are your mother's daughter you are look at that they made that hole and yet she decided to get in through that hole that connects with this Well, at least I know that she'll never starve because she'll always know where to go. Hello, my children. Okay, so now it's ready. Have my cleaning supplies there. Brought the light. That is good for filming and stuff. It's, it gets really dark once I close the door. Put the GoPro there so we have a different angle. And yeah, I think I'm ready. Uh, so, you know. As far as preparations, she is swollen in her back end area. Um, yeah, everyone's like, okay, out of here. Well, not everyone. But I think it seems fine. So I'm going to let her stay here if she wants to and eat as much as she wants. Um, but as you can see, you can start to see how red it is, how swollen, and her udder, yeah, it's a little bit, but I don't see the quite the big pop. There you go. But as I said, I'm gonna leave the barn open so they can go in if they want to. And I'm gonna leave that door open over there in case I need something. I'm gonna get no 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 I'm gonna get this boy who really needs it. Denali! No! This little boy cannot even fight for a bottle. Well he finished it, I think almost ready. I'll entertain her with my finger. She won't let him drink. Ugh. Okay, there's a little bit left. Clarita has no chance. She, like, she needs her time inside. Denali! Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh. Dean! I'm telling you. Oh, and then she got it. Okay, you get it. You get it, boy. You finish it. It's like two... Okay, no more. You guys, go enjoy. I'm gonna bring more wine. Look at that little boy. <laughs> Look at him compare. Look at his size compared to Everest. Or Evie, as I call her. Like, <laughs> she just needs your tiny boy. See you guys in a little bit, okay? You keep an eye on Athene, Denali, Everest. Thank you. I'm here, late, but I'm here. I didn't forget. I was doing it on purpose. Just kidding. I would never do that to my boys. Here, boys. Let's start with your breakfast over there. And then you guys can go out. 
I need some fresh green. You use that, you handsome boy. This is the coolest part of the property. Just near the water over there. It's really nice and cool. But then if you go into the pasture, it's really nice and hot. Look. We've been piling during the winter like uh, everything that we clean out of the goat pen and it's not going to be an immediate situation but since hay does have seed look we're going growing grass you can see it here growing grass just by kind of filling in where we had holes like this is have that little hill over there and then it's lower in some areas this was really really low and it used to um, collect water when it rains just like here it was there so we started putting all the clean so the the clean out of the barn and what happens is once the sun comes out finally then it starts growing grass and you can see all the grass over there can you see it that is all from the hay that we threw there no seeds and you can see we have no grass there just bare soil so this was a good idea this is what happens to the boys pen the boys pen started growing grass because of the hay that we were using a small chawl around it Lali, you're so cute. 